hi guys welcome to this video if you're new to this channel my name is moyo and i make videos all about food faith and lifestyle you're so welcome to she bites today i'm going to be talking about black history month and what is all about why we do it today as you can see i'm rocking my bubble and this head wrap who was that was actually given to me by, by my friend ella so thank you ella i love you so much um mm -hmm. black history month what's it all about why do we have to celebrate it what does it mean The whole Black History Month thing has been something I've struggled to even understand in the first place, but let me just give it to you as it is. Black History Month is a month that has been set apart to celebrate Afro-Caribbean history. Why is it called Black History Month? Why is it celebrating Afro-Caribbean history? It's also called African American History Month by some people. But especially in the UK, it's called Black History Month to celebrate all people of color, all black people, not only Africans, African Americans, Africans in diaspora. Black History Month was started because it's held in February in the US because that's the anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Abraham Lincoln was the one who abolished slavery um, in the US and it's held in the UK in October. I don't really know why. But the whole reason for having a Black History Month is because black people were taken from you know where they came from to become slaves in other parts of the world they were then all lumped together as black people not from people not as nigerians not as Ghanaians, not as south africans not as zulu people not as yorubas not as Igbos, not as hausas not as fulani people not as maasai people but just as black people all together i.e they had lost their identity they didn't know where they were from anymore and so they were all called as blacks together they were all called negroes they were all called later on colored people african americans they were all lumped together as the people who had lost their culture and had lost where they came from why had they lost their culture is because it was very important that they didn't know where they came from so they will not try to return it was very important that they hated where they came from so that they will have no no reason to want to go back it was very important that they had a bad memory or legacy of where they came from it was very important that they believed that their own people had sold them into slavery so they had no reason to want to go back to where they were coming from it was important that they believed that where they came from was a place of barbaric acts and barbaric people so they had no reason to want to go back to where they came from can you see can you see the whole you know Thing about it now one thing about why black history month is so important is so we can remember where we came from as black people identifying as black is actually difficult for me because growing up black was normal I grew up in Nigeria like it's not as if black is a thing like it's who we are and if you're African if you come from if you grew up in a country in Africa you will know that if you're living in Africa it's more about tribal differences and ethnic differences than black white brown yellow blue it's not really about your skin color it's more about where you're specifically from that differentiates you from other people but then when you come to live in other parts of the world you realize that oh people look at me a certain way because i'm black people expect certain things from me because i'm black people think africa is a country people think that all africans behave act the same and have the same culture people think that African people are the same as African American people. We are the same, but because of what has happened to our culture in the past, um, we have sort of different culture now because of where we've lived, because of the history that we've lived. One thing I'd like to say, one thing I'd like to clarify, is the whole narrative of Africans sell, sold African people into slavery is actually kind of a lie. Yes, Africans participated in the slave trade. Yes, Africans sold other Africans into slavery, but they were not selling I'm trying to say is that it's not in the way that people paint it to be before during this whole slave trade time Africa was really not united we did not see each other as Africa as Africans it was oh Amirba you're Fulani you're Igbo you're from this tribe or that tribe you're Tif you're Maasai you're whatever you are we were different entities and different tribes slavery was a thing of okay these people are offering me money for me to get other black people to other people to tell to them so i'm going to attack this other this other community this other tribe overpower them give them to these other people for money it wasn't like oh brother where you do come to this side and then i now sell my brother into slavery they were not selling their own people they were capturing other people who did not identify as their own people and giving them to other people giving them to the expatriates or whatever they are they were to come and take them to other parts of the world for slavery let me just clarify that doesn't make it right but i just wanted to, to clarify the fact that it's not as if as you know you're a person i'll be like 
trying to capture my other brother or sister and be like oh yeah come and take them to slavery it wasn't like that it was like i was trying to find people who meant nothing to me and sell them into slavery black was not a unified group african was not a unified group we were all different and we we're all individual yeah see my head right my head tie coming undone the same way that you will not identify like the same way that in the past you know people europeans white people and even till today you don't white people are not an entity like isn't i don't want to go too much into it but basically we were all different had different ethnic groups tribes languages and we were not selling our own people who we identified with as ourselves into slavery i'm not justifying it i just want to clarify that point next thing i want to say about black history month is that it's so important because it celebrates and remembers the history of black people that has been tried to like and the history of the whole atlantic slave trade and black people in that way and what happens to black people so that whole slave trade, the whole, the, everything that happened to Africans during and before the slave trade was given a different side to it by the people who conquered, by the people who took them away into slavery. Black History Month is very important so we can actually understand what our history is. I grew up in Nigeria. I went to school in Nigeria. Not once did I have a class, civics, history, nothing about the Atlantic slave trade, about what happened. I've all had to learn about all that in my adult life after school. I have like not one class. We had United Nations come to our school for Holocaust Remembrance Day, for different remembrance to say never again. Never once did anyone talk to me about slavery, talk to me about Abraham Lincoln, talk to me about Martin Luther King Jr. in school law, never, not once. And this is why Black History Month is important. So we can say that actually black people, Africans have history before the time of the slave trade. We were not who they painted us out to be. We were explorers, we were dreamers, we were creative, we were educators before these people came. Before these people came to, you know, do these things that were horrible. And, you know, people say that the Atlantic slave trade was one of the greatest crimes against humanity. And why? Number one, it caused serious division um, amongst black people. And what does that mean? We were never a unified group before, but what happened was that are we had so much anarchy be between each other even the anarchy was amplified why because we we're trying to sell each other a way to get this money to get these rum cigarettes whatever it is that they were selling us for and then it depleted our population it took away a lot of our able-bodied men and women and children to this other part of the world and then these people who were in this other part of the world then had this hatred towards africa because they were sold you understand it's like this continuing cycle and then because our uh, our people everything that we had was used to advance these foreign nations because of things they were giving us we neglected ourselves we did not develop our own selves we just there was just this huge chunk of our time of history that was spent on this system and they obviously needed more and more people to sustain the slave trade because of how horrible the conditions were especially in the caribbean what does this whole black history month mean to us as black people mean to me as a black person as an african as a nigerian it means that i should also know about my history it means that other people in other parts of the world are learning about their history in africa in nigeria we're not learning about our history yes they will tell us oh nationalist this one that one what happened before that the only place where I've actually been able to learn a bit more about my history as a Yoruba person or as a Nigerian is in Yoruba class. And it's not even still like current history, it's like beginning and then what happened 100 years ago. That space of what happened in slave trade and before is almost unspoken about. It's almost unspoken about the Benin Empire, Timbuktu, the Mali Empire. My mom says that when they were in school, they did learn about those things. But for my generation, for the generations after me, we're not learning about them. So this is really a call for me to say that we need to know where we come from. We need to know what happened before us. Why is it important so that we do not repeat the mistakes that our ancestors made? It's so that we can have a better Africa of today. Look around you guys. Africa is not where it's supposed to be. Nigeria is not where it's supposed to be. Yes, some countries are like Rwanda are rising. But let me tell you that our strife and our confusion is not going to go away unless we decide to know what happened in the past so it doesn't repeat itself in the future. I'm so passionate about Africa. I believe in Nigeria. I believe in who I'm, I am and I'm proud of who I am. But if we do not rise up as Africans, Nigerians, black people, African Americans, Africans all over the world to claim who we are and to claim to dictate, dictate what the narrative is. I'm so glad for people like um, this friend of mine who is doing this thing called the Good Nigerians blog, who is trying to change the narrative and ensure that um, 
the truth about who we are is told to the rest of the world. The narrative that Africa is a placement of poor people, poor children who can't do anything from the, for themselves, made up of a place of people who um, are just polygamists, who are just you know killing themselves, who are just divided, who all they know is religion, and who are just um, heard, have a herd mentality is such a lie. But when are we going to rewrite our own stories? Like there's a lot of people doing a lot of things to promote this now and to promote the whole black narrative. But one thing I want to say that we need to be careful about is that number one, we should not do what they have done, which is now make a one-sided view of our own history and make it seem as if we were heroes from the start. We need to be honest about where we've come from. And we also need to be honest about where we want to go. I feel like this has been a bit of a rant, but it's just what I think about this whole Black History Month thing and what we need to do and view it as. I don't want to continue ranting, but basically, that is what Black History Month is about. I hope you can appreciate where we've come from so that we can know where we are going. And I hope that we can appreciate our differences, our weakness, our strengths, and what brings us together. Diversity is beautiful, and diversity does not mean that we cannot be unified. Even in spite of, we can take our similarities and our differences and bring us together regardless. Africa is not a country. It's made up of diverse people. I'm Nigerian and I might have no context to even have a conversation with someone from South Africa. But because of what has been done to us, we have been brought together by this geographic mass. But still, we have a lot of things in common. We have a lot of reasons why we can come together and grow together and do better for one another. I'm so grateful for, for YouTubers like Wadi Maya, you know, who is going all over the, all over Africa to say this is who we are. This is what has been done to us. And, you know, we're going to be stronger. We're going to do better. And this is me also saying, you know, Africa to the world, our culture, our food, our beauty, our everything that we do is just so beautiful and positive. And when are we going to bring that out? Thank you for watching this video. Let me not say more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family who you think, you know, can maybe learn some things from this. And I encourage you as an African, as a black person, or as anybody in the world, learn more about your own history, about where you come from. Otherwise, other people will tell you. Otherwise, other people will tell you who you are and they have no right to do that. So we have to discover who we are, embrace who we are so we can move forward and be who we want to become. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!